Initial stability and secondary stability, what do those terms mean? In this video, we're gonna answer that exact question. What is initial stability? Initial stability really focuses on how the boat's gonna handle when you're getting in and out of the canoe itself. It's also gonna to refer to how the canoe handles in relatively calmer waters. Um, so early morning paddles, uh, like I mentioned, just physically getting in and out of the canoe, um, that's really what initial stability is meant to, to talk about. Boats that are designed to focus on initial stability are going to primarily have a more boxier look. Um, a prime example of that, although they are fantastic boats, so a lot of Winona's canoes are designed with kind of this boxier look to them. Um, so they have a very kind of defined line that it kind of has this little, almost like a love handle look that comes out with a very flat bottom. That's the other thing that's very um, distinct about initial stability boats is they have a very flat bottom. What that means is that what's called the shear line. The shear line is a line along the, the sides of the canoe that is gonna be the point at which when that boat tips, it finally gives way. Boats that are focusing on initial stability, that shear line is gonna be significantly lower and that's why it has that real flat, boxier look to it. And that's why a lot of boats that are designed, like canoes that are designed for fishermen, they're designed for kind of day paddles. They're designed for racing. Canoes are a great example of that. Those are all focused on boats where you are uh, on extremely flat water. You are on relatively calmer lakes. You're not gonna be in rough waters. You're not paddling down some crazy class five river because you're gonna be, if you're fishing, you might be standing up in the boat. One of my coworkers, Chris, he actually fly fishes. And that makes it much easier for him to stand up as if he's in a much more stable flat boxier boat because he can stand up in it, he can move around. What that does mean though, is that initial stability boats are gonna have a much more difficult time in rougher waters. So rougher waters meaning either big waves on flat lakes or in relatively, let's say up to class three, class four rapids in uh, rivers. So most initial stability focused canoes are not gonna handle that rougher waters as well. The secondary stability now focuses on how that boat or that canoe is gonna handle in rougher waters. Generally speaking, most canoes that are focused on secondary stability are gonna have a much more rounded and sleeker look to the outside of the hull. In an extreme case, earlier we talked about a box, now we're talking about a much more rounded hull, so we're looking at a soccer ball. Toss a soccer ball in rough waters, you know, waves are crashing around, whether it be in a flat water lake like Lake Superior or in class four, class five rapids, that ball is just moving around as happy as a clam in those rougher waves. A boat that's focusing on secondary stability, its hull design is gonna be doing that exact same thing. It's gonna want to teeter and totter in the water as you move it around. Whereas an initial stability boat is gonna have that lower shear line. Remember I mentioned that term, shear line, which is that point at which the boat can tip and finally give way. A boat that has a much more rounded hull that's focusing on secondary stability is gonna have a much higher shear line. So when that boat tips, it can continue tipping, tipping, tipping until it finally flips and gives way. And that line is higher, giving you more stability and more freedom while you're moving in rougher waters. One of the things that's really definitive about boats that are focusing on secondary stability is up towards the gut. Not always. In some cases, 16-foot canoes, some 17-foot canoes um, are gonna have what's called a tumble home um, part of the boat. This Grey Duck 17 does not. But in Earthman 16, you can see it. It looks like basically a shoulder where the hull of the boat cuts back in towards the gun. The reason I'm pointing that out is that that shoulder where it cuts back in to the actual uh, gunnel itself it comes towards the middle of the boat that's that shear line so we're talking about a real distinct separation between the two different types of boats if you take a northman 16 and cut it in half and look at it down the length of the boat and do the same thing with like a winona spirit 2 or winona aurora and do the same thing cut it in half look it down the edge of the boat you're going to see a drastic difference in how that all those boats are formed northman 16 is going to have a much more rounded hull it's gonna have that shear line very, very up high, which is gonna bring that tumble home back towards the center. So that shear line is super, super high up here. They were known a canoe, if you looked at it, it's much more boxier, that shear line is significantly lower. 
that's going to give you the two drastic differences between initial stability and secondary stability. So whether you're getting a canoe for the Bonnie Waters or the Mississippi River, uh, we can definitely help you out with answering those questions. So if you do have further questions that can't quite decide and you want more in details about initial and secondary stability, definitely swing into the shop. We can definitely help you out and get in your next canoe. Also, if you still have questions about the details between the two different terms, drop a comment below. We always get questions that we want to answer and we can dive even more deeply into each one of these topics if you'd like, if you get enough comments about that particular subject.